Italian travel, I'm on Lake Garda admiring another fantastic view. Welcome to Torri del Benaco. After years of abandon in the winter of 1980, a group of volunteers decided to give new life to the castle, and in 1983, after renovation works, the museum of the castle was inaugurated. In its room are showed the aspects of culture and the daily life of the inhabitants of Torre del Benaco. There is a section dedicated to agriculture with a torch for olives reconstructing using original stone pieces. There is also an important section dedicated to fishing, but the main attraction is the 350 years old greenhouse of citrus trees. These plants can grow up to 25 feet in height, and each plant can produce up to 3,000 lemons every year. Someone say the castle of Torre del Benaco was built by the Romans, and the western tower would prove it, because it's completely different from the other, because it was built in a different period. According to others, instead, the tower was built in the 10th century by the king Berengario I, who had the tower and walls built to shelter it from the Hungarian invasions. What is certain is that centuries later the Visconti family from Milan took only six days to destroy it. The port of Torre del Benaco is one of the most beautiful of Lake Garda, shell-shaped, whose original structure dates back to the Roman age. The 15th century Gardesana building overlooks the harbour and has had different functions. The warehouse of the port, headquarters of council at the time of the Republic of Venice, while today it has become a first-class hotel and restaurant. The look at the lakeside of Torre del Benaco seen from the port is wonderful, while the inland quiet streets and squares are a sequence of beautiful glimpses and characteristic spots. Take your time to walk by the tower of the town hall with its watch that is one of the most ancient of the whole region. If then you want to eat or drink something fresh, you just need to go back to the lake promenade and go in one of the many bars and restaurants you'll find.
Baia Stanca and Baia dei Pini are the main beaches in Torri del Benaco, both placed north of the old town. These beaches are really popular because the access is free and the water very clear and not deep, so kids can play safely. I am at Baia dei Pini, at Horse Point. If you like scuba diving, you must come here. At a depth of 82 feet lies an underwater nativity scene, placed there in 1991, while at 130 feet under lake level there is a second one, at the end of a cliff. With lots of diving school, this is the place for you. On the other hand, if you prefer trekking in the woods, you can go to the hamlet of Pai di Sopra, a district of Torri del Benaco, where you can explore the Tanella cave and enjoy beautiful stalactites and stalagmites with a guided tour. If interested, I leave you the link in the description. Meanwhile, I got to know of an interesting and unknown garden just a few miles from Torri del Benaco, and I decided to call the owner. The garden was born about 40 years ago. At first the house and the surrounding land were a farm. Then my in-laws decided to replace a part of the vineyard with a garden. So the first two acres, close to the house, were designed by them. We're proud to say that this is a family garden, where no landscape designer has been working on. We designed the garden and purchased, planted and cared for the plants. So far we have a garden with two souls an older one, 40 years old, which we now call the Romantic Park, because it's a garden with ancient big trees. And the second garden, called the Mediterranean Garden, built by my husband and me about 20 years ago. There was terrace due to the slope of the ground. These photos were taken by a photographer who took part in an exhibition held in Caprino Veronese three years ago. Gilberto, the photographer, chose our garden to represent the main realities of the surroundings. Mrs. Biasi takes me around her magnificent garden and tells me a lot of interesting things about the flowers the plants and about the history of the garden and the events that periodically take place. But above all, I am fascinated by the infinite passion and dedication the family have been working with for decades in creating something unique, something they have dedicated a whole life.
molto bello questo Casa Biasi Garden is a really nice place, really nice surprise and the Biasi family very welcoming people. If you have the chance to come here and visit the garden, you will not regret it. Well, I agree to you, that's all for today. Keep on following me, subscribe my channel for more videos, as usual if you have doubts or need for information, write me in the comments below. I leave you some useful links in the description of the video. Let me know if you like Tori del Benaco down here, or here, or maybe here. Italian travel, see you!